Scientists have discovered that certain birds can sense Earth's magnetic fields with a precision that defies classic physics. Imagine crossing entire continents, guided not by landmarks or the sun, but by an invisible force we barely understand. If that doesn't shake your view of what life is capable of, keep watching. Today we're diving into the quantum realm hidden in the eyes of birds, where subatomic processes may give them a built-in compass. This isn't a sci-fi theory or speculative folklore. It's a bona fide mystery baffling experts from molecular biologists to quantum physicists. How could a simple robin detect magnetic fields when our most sophisticated instruments need compasses or satellites to do the same job? This question has perplexed scientists for decades. One powerful clue lies in molecules called cryptochromes, photoreceptor proteins found in bird retinas. When these molecules absorb particular wavelengths of light, they appear to generate radical pair reactions, a quantum-level phenomenon. Studies published in Nature 2008 suggest that the entangled spins of electrons in these radical pairs may change depending on Earth's magnetic field, effectively allowing birds to see something we can't. Here's where it gets even stranger. Quantum entanglement, a phenomenon Einstein once dismissed as spooky action at a distance, may directly influence biological processes in a warm, wet environment. Quantum effects usually collapse under messy, high-temperature conditions. Yet birds manage to harness these effects for navigation. According to research by Thorsten Ritz and colleagues at the University of California, this radical pair mechanism could survive long enough to be biologically useful, something conventional physics can't easily explain. If quantum mechanics thrives in a bird's eye, what else might nature be using it for? Picture a tiny robin braving thunderstorms and turbulent winds to find its way home. It might rely on a delicate interplay of electronic spins, so fragile we can barely replicate it in labs, to sense the planet's magnetic lines. That image evokes a sense of awe. Evolution didn't just engineer beaks and feathers, it may have quietly tuned into quantum phenomena. In every glance at the horizon, these creatures tap into an underlying reality we're only beginning to decode. It's humbling to think that an animal perched in your backyard might be harnessing quantum forces that challenge even the brightest minds in physics. So, is this radical pair mechanism the entire story, or are we missing a bigger puzzle piece? Some experts argue that the cryptochrome explanation, while compelling, doesn't account for every nuance. Others point to iron-based sensors in birds' beaks as another potential magnetic receptor. Then there's the question of how exactly these signals translate into a cognitive map. Neurological pathways remain elusive, leaving open the possibility that there's more to discover, perhaps a synergy of classical and quantum systems that biology exploits for survival, a synergy that no single discipline fully comprehends. As new instrumentation lets us peer deeper, each revelation intensifies the debate, and the race for answers accelerates. Quantum biology isn't just an abstract theory. It's a frontier that could reshape how we view life on Earth. If birds rely on quantum entanglement for navigation, what other organisms tap into quantum effects to thrive? Studies at the University of Oxford suggest that photosynthesis in certain plants may similarly exploit coherent energy transfer. This opens doors to radical advancements in technology and an evolving perspective of what laws of nature truly mean. Whether you see it as a marvel of evolution or a challenge to our scientific dogma, one thing is clear, we've only scratched the surface. Let us know your thoughts on how quantum mechanics might intertwine with everyday life. Be sure to subscribe and join us on future explorations, because in science, every answer reveals a deeper question.